top of the order with Brown, who had a four-hit game yesterday, and chops this one to short. Coffell has to hurry, and on a close play, gets her by about half a step. I was just going to say, it scored a double, and like you were saying, yeah. I, I, I can understand why, because of the current weather conditions. Nice bunt laid down, but back. These three days in a row up here now for the Wildcats, so Kilfoyle will be working that. Pitch low in the zone. Ball's hit well to right. Sides makes the catch. Tagging and scoring is Riley Smith. And also advancing as that throw went through goes Lauren Johnson. A strikeout of Jenkins. And a bouncer back towards the circle. Humes fields her position well and throws out Woodard. Innings today. Trying to protect the runner and in with a head first slide. Brings an 0 1 pitch to Stoddard. That's in play to right center field, and that's down. It kicks momentarily away from sides. Nesby's going to come in to score. 3 0 Kentucky RBI double for Stoddard. Makes a nice grab. So still runners at second and third now with two outs. Top of the order, Kowalik to short. Jenkins long throw, safe. And Stoddard scores. It's 4-0 Kentucky as Kowalik drives in her 23rd run of the season. Brown back to the circle. The throw goes to second. And Blaine was able to field it in that throw behind the bag initially and then got a toe to the base. to third, runner coming home. The play comes to the plate, and Sides is tagged out. Stoddard saw the play right in front of her and took the out at home. Ball angling, looking for contact. And a strikeout by Humes to end the inning. And Bama has to settle for just the one run. Close. Certainly there. High fly. Deep center, but playable. And caught on the edge of the track by Spangler to end the game. And Kentucky hangs on to beat Alabama 4-2.